Hello YouTube, this is Michael from PhoneJunkie.org. I am bringing you a how-to video on how to set up the iCloud and how to manage iCloud on your iOS device. Alright, here I am going to go ahead and go through the basics. iCloud is a cloud service that will back up your device. It will back up everything from contacts to photos to songs to apps and anything associated with your apps. iClouds iCloud is a good storage. iCloud is definitely good to use, especially if you're a person that hates hooking it up to your computer, you don't have a computer, or you just definitely for you know, you just forget to go to your computer and back it up. iCloud will back up to five gigabytes for free. And after that, you pay a year charge. I so here we go. If you go right into the settings tab, you go down. You'll see iCloud there. And later on in the video, I'll definitely show you how to get iCloud set up. But you would just go in here. And it'll have your account and everything set up for you there. Here is where you can control things. So you can have mail. If you wanted to back up your mail, your contact calendars passbook notes everything as you can see on mine contacts is turned off because I want to sync my contacts with my Gmail what you'd have to do a little bit further advanced setting up what you'd have to use through iTunes to set it up to do that so but the reason why I use Gmail is just if I switch to a Google device I can just type in my username and password for my gmail account and it'll pull up my contacts so no matter what device I'm going across I can use all my contacts and now, so if you forth. scroll down I definitely recommend using find my iPhone find my iPhone is an app that Apple has a, or is a service that Apple has included for free as well if you ever lose your iPhone and you have this turned on you can connect from the computer or any other iOS using device and you can locate your phone you can turn on a silent alarm you can reset the phone or you can lock it using a password alright so here I have a brand new well not a brand new but a newly reset iPhone iPhone 5 and for whatever the reason why you had to reset um, you got a new phone this is what the screen is going to look like when you first turn it on. So you just go ahead and you've already backed up to iClouds and you're going to go through this whole process here. So you go on here, first screen you choose your English, you follow all this, you got to choose your country, you got to go on a Wi Fi network. Mm -hmm. You go to next, and this is where you activate the iPhone. Now you do need a SIM card if you have a GSM phone to activate it. So now it's activated. You see the AT&T. Now this is either you can set up as a new phone, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes backup. So if you didn't use iCloud but you used iTunes, you just click iTunes. It'll ask you to connect it to the computer and follow the on-screen instruction from there. But we did a backup or iCloud backup, so we're going to go from that. You just highlight it, hit next, enter your ID. So for this one, I used a one I made up. I made up just for videos. Oops. The password in. Scoot away. All right. Here's the terms and conditions. You can read through that if you choose doing so. So you just hit agree, agree again. Now it's taking a few minutes to set up your ID. Now it's going to ask you to choose a backup. Now if you've had this, now I've only had this name on just this iPhone, so I've never used it that much. But if you've had an, if you've been using iCloud for a while, it'll have multiple backups. It'll even have your, some of your iPad backups or your iPod Touch backups on here but it'll show a picture of your device sometimes but since this is the only one that's the only one I can choose 
So it would be Michael's iPhone, this iPhone 5, it says right here, today at 3.34 p.m., which is about 10 minutes ago. So it's you just select it and hit restore. So it says restore setting, restoring settings, time remaining. So you just go through this, you'll see the little spinning tab up there. So it's not that much, so it's not going to take that long. I'm not sure how big this one is, but some of the smaller ones will not take that long. Some of the bigger ones, you know, around anywhere between 3 to 5 gigs, will definitely take a while. So you can see that it's working here. Alright, looks like it's rebooting up here. Let's go ahead and just fast forward this a little bit. Alright, so we got it to restore there. It says restoring from backup. It says your iPhone settings have been restored. Your purchased apps and media will now be automatically downloaded. Now your apps and your media are not, are not saved completely to the server. And that way, because if so, it would take a while for it to download. All it does is save the records of what apps you had downloaded, all that. And that way it just re-downloads them to your device. So you click this. Alright. Now, all this will come up. Now, if you had a background, it would be the same. If you had apps switched around, like folders, apps here, apps there, everything would stay the same, just like you saw it before you did the reset. The only app I had downloaded was Walgreens for a recent video I just did. But everything that you had there would stay there. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch back over. Right. Now after I've shown you how to do the complete restore from iCloud, I'm going to go ahead and go into iCloud and show you how to manage your backups and so forth. So you just go down to storage and backup. You hit manage storage. Right. Now it'll tell you Michael Williamson's iPhone. My last name's too long to show it. And it says this iPhone. And this shows an iPad, iPad. And I've deleted a lot of my backups, ones that I don't use. But as you can see, if I wanted to get rid of, let's just say this one, it says latest backup was 22012, 54 megabits. So I know it's not that big, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this backup. Now it says, do you want to turn off backup and delete all backup data for iPad from iCloud? Put yes. Now this is not going to turn off iCloud, so it's never going to back it up again. So you just hit this, it will delete it. So now I freed up a little bit of space, not a full gig because it wasn't that big, but I deleted some of, you know, freed up a few, a little bit of space. Now if I was to delete this one, I would free up a lot more space. Now when you go into it, it tells you, you know, most of the apps that it's been backing up for. You can turn it on, off. Now it says Bike Baron, which is a game. It just backs up the you know your data, how far you've gotten, all that stuff. You go back out, and you can go down to your documents and data. So it has documents and data for Passbook, Zombie Gunships, which is another game, DJ, your mail. Now let's say you decide that you have a 64 gigabyte iPhone and you have a lot of stuff on there. You have a lot of you know documents pictures and you want everything backed up to iCloud but the five gigs they give you is just not enough you constantly come in here and it says mine says 15 gigs I have nine gigs available if I'm using that and I deleted all the storage just cannot free up enough room you can go to change storage plan and it gives it to you right here okay my pricing was wrong Excuse me, it was $20 a year. I thought it was $15 a year. But that gives you 10 gigabytes plus the 5 they give you. So 15 total gigabytes. That's the one I'm on, the current plan. Or you can go as big as 50 gigabytes at $100 a year, which will give you 55 gigabytes total. 
Right. You can also downgrade if you upgraded and it just wasn't for you. You didn't need that much storage. Right. So I'm going to just hit cancel here. Right. So to turn iCloud backup on or off, this is what, how you'd use it. And before each restore, anything like that, you can go down and say when the last time it was backed up at. But if you want to make sure everything was completely backed up, you just hit the backup now button. And it'll say estimating time remaining. And it'll take a few seconds for that. And you do not have to stay here while it does that. Now if you were wanting to restore from an earlier backup, let's say you did something on your phone or whatever the reason may be, you want to restore from last month and you know it's on there because you haven't deleted it, you checked your, you managed, you went to your account oops you went to your storage of backup and you checked your you manage storage and you see that you have an update you want to update from well all you have to do is reset your phone in the settings completely restore your iPhone it'll take you back to that first like when you first got your phone and you just go through the setup and do setup from iCloud's backup and then you would pick that specific backup that you'd like to use and you would go from there all right so if you guys have any questions or any video requests on how to do anything um, this is the place to ask just email me at mike at phone and I'll do my best to get a video out to you make sure you subscribe for future videos and leave a comment if you have any questions about iCloud backup have a good day